Let's fly, let's roll, let's get it. Whoa, Shotty showing out, throwing on the dance floor. Fashion killer, huh? You don't give a fuck. What a nigga gotta say, or a bitch, what? Hey, you guys, it's Naomi Ryan. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the fam because we stay lit over here. You feel me? And if you're a returning viewer, hi, how are you guys doing on this lovely day? I feel like I haven't filmed like a sit down video in like forever. This is my first time filming in my new apartment. I'm in the living room. We still don't have furniture. It's very empty. So, you know, but the lighting looks good. And that's what we're here for. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm be telling y'all about how me and Ty got scammed, okay? We got scammed. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, go and watch my last moving vlog because I briefly kind of touched on it in there, but not really. This video going to spill all the tea because I'm ready to move out already. And I literally just moved in. Before we get into that, I do want to say that I sincerely apologize for being MIA like the last couple of weeks and everything. Like my videos have been uploaded late. Like I've just had a lot going on between me moving and a, a lot of other stuff um which i'll probably talk about in another life update video and just spill all the tea as to what has been going on because people people been working my nerves today and i feel like at this point everybody's getting a story time you get a story time you get a story time but no seriously i do plan to do a life update video just so you guys know what's going on with me but for right now i'm trying to get back in the swing of things so while i get settled you guys just bear with me also we're almost to 400 subscribers so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and you really like my content but now that i've said all of that i think i covered everything i needed to cover so let's just go ahead and get into this story time because y'all y'all gotta hear this y'all gotta hear this before i get into the video i do want to say excuse my skin y'all i don't i don't know what's going on i just if anybody has any skincare tips drop them in the comments down below because your girl's going through it as you guys can see anyways that's besides the point now let's get into the story as you guys know i just moved if you saw my last two vlogs you know that i've been moving that's why my life has been so chaotic i was pretty much looking for an apartment over the whole summer which is all the wrong time to be moving prices are ridiculously high everything is just bad okay um i found the apartment that i'm in now like kind of last minute um so we decided to take a tour and by we i mean me and ty so we decided to take a tour here um i'm gonna call our leasing agent uh lysol okay we take a tour with lysol and he shows us a renovated unit of our floor plan he explained to us beforehand that this uh, floor plan this particular floor plan didn't come with the washer and dryer he said that um they have an on-site laundry facility and most of the time it's not occupied because people who stay in the other apartments are like their job doesn't require them to be here so they're never really home so he was like you shouldn't have a problem washing clothes and blah 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 i was real iffy about that because i really wanted my own washer and dryer but we gonna get to that so we walked through the apartment we, we really liked the tour everything looked nice and he was like yeah the only difference is like the floors and the countertops in the unrenovated version so me and Todd was like okay like the floors countertops is not that bad i mean we did bounce around back and forth about the whole washer and dryer thing for a second because we was like uh, uh. but when you time is crunching your lease almost up you, you gonna be like yeah i'll take it so that's what we did we took it and here we are we get the keys and lysol's like oh you know um i'm supposed to go with you for the walkthrough but i'm just gonna let you guys go uh if you miss anything like while you're walking through just send me an email about it like a couple days later you know because i because at the the day that we got the keys i had to go to work but so we were kind of pressed for time but i also didn't want to miss any details because i wanted to get my security pass back okay if there's a hole in the wall and i ain't do it i ain't pay for it i'm not i'm so sorry so we get the keys we come up here we walk through or whatever and we're walking through and this is when things just start going downhill y'all this is when i realized like we got scammed okay we did i look in the kitchen and i'm like dang like we ain't got no microwave and ty's looking he's like oh shoot we don't have a microwave like we were probably in here for like a solid 20 minutes before we both noticed that we did not have a microwave so it was to the point where i called i was like hello yeah uh lysol there ain't no microwave in our apartment and like so when y'all gonna put that in and blah, blah blah oh yeah the renovated no the unrenovated unit doesn't come with a microwave the renovated one does blah 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 i was like okay because first of all, he didn't mention that in a tour. Only thing he said was different was the floors and the countertops. Y'all, I swear to you on everything, he did not say anything about a microwave. He mentioned the washer and dryer. He mentioned the floors and the countertops. That's it. He ain't say nothing else. So I was just like, 
okay not gonna lie kind of made my blood boil a little bit because what apartment don't come with a microwave bro like what and then on top of that i ain't got a washer and dryer so what really am i paying for what really am i paying for you could have at least gave me a microwave you could have at least gave me a microwave number two we noticed that our balcony light wouldn't turn off i i don't know the details behind that um we literally flipped every single switch in this apartment trying to turn it off and it didn't turn off so Ty was like, well, we got to figure out how to get it off. You're going to have to call them and let them know, like, hey, the, the balcony light is on because we need to get that turned off because, like, we don't want that on our power bill. And, like, we don't because I'm not paying for no balcony light. Like, God knows how long it's been on. I'm not going to pay for that. I'm not. I'm not. So I had to call him about that and he thought that I was crazy when I told him about it and I was like no there's like no switch and I remember like I think it was like the day that I was moving in like I asked him to come up here like how are we supposed to get this off and he walked through he flipped every switch too he was like oh that's so weird <laughs> what so you you tell me you don't know either you don't know either so I was just like okay whatever anyways back to the day that we got the keys and the last thing that I noticed was the tub okay the tub and i'm gonna insert some pictures because i took some pictures okay of what the tub looks like and this is what the tub looked like and i was like why is the paint chipping in the tub like why it looked like this you know it just looked real crusty dusty and busty and i was very being very ugh about it you know i i i have standards guys okay i have standards i'm a little picky i ain't gonna lie you know i'm a little bougie in certain aspects and i'm be honest here who doesn't like a nice bathroom okay you want your bathroom and your place of living to be nice okay i really like when my bathroom is nice i feel like it's nice and serenitized and now when that serenitized the word whatever it's nice and you know ooh, when you in there you know i just want to be relaxing that's not relaxing if my tub is crusty dusty and busty okay it's not there's nothing relaxing about that it stresses me out it makes me think tub is dark okay i was upset about the tub too so i wrote that down you know i'm taking my little notes and was do 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 okay i'm only telling you guys this because this is relevant to the story um the maintenance guy was here putting our dishwasher in when we um came to do the walkthrough and like we were we got all new appliances which i guess is a plus but um, he was he was like, oh, you know, I'll come back when you guys are done doing the walkthrough. He never came back. So I had to end up calling maintenance back here for that. But that's later on the story. We'll get to that. So a couple days go by, maybe. I don't know if it was the day that I moved in or what. I don't um, I don't know, guys. I've, I've been having a lot going on, so I can't really remember. But I'll follow up with him the uh leasing agent Lysol about the everything that's wrong with the apartment because I had turned into the pa turned the paper into him but once I turned the paper in I had to go because I had to go to work so I was kind of in a rush so I didn't really get to like explain and talk to him so I, w I followed up with him I was like so what are you guys going to do about this balcony light that won't turn off he was like oh yeah you know maintenance was already aware of it so they're working on a solution but I would just advise you to just uh take the light bulb out because we don't really know if it's connected to the building or if it's connected to your apartment like the the power bill and I was like okay like that's not really a solution bro like we have a balcony light that won't turn off and then if we want to turn it on now we gotta screw the light bulb back in because we definitely took the light bulb out because who was about to leave that light on like what so then I followed up on the tub right and this is the part that irked my soul I asked him I was like so what about the tub he was like what about it I was like I wrote on the paper that there was paint chipping on the tub and he he didn't see it on the paper and so I had to go like in person and show him like I wrote it right there he was like oh okay he was like you know I didn't see anything when I went in there okay well it's definitely there and he was like oh okay he was like you know I'll have somebody take a look at that too I was like okay because like what what do you mean you didn't see anything when you went in there was you even really looking like what you should be inspecting the apartment to making sure i'm not lying about what's there and what's not there like what are you whatever anyways the guy came back and he ended up um looking like putting the dishwasher in the leasing agent he like i said he came and flicked all the switches to try to figure out the whole light thing and when he was in here that day when he was like trying to figure out the light thing he said he for forgot he forgot to look at the tub y'all i promise you i complained about this tub probably like every day since the day we moved in because i was like bro like it's not supposed to look like this it needs to be resurfaced this is disgusting like why does it look like this like why like for what and he i felt like he thought that i was like making stuff up or lying or something and it was really bothering me because it's like i keep bringing this up like why why would i make this up 
why for what i think you thought that i wanted a new unit which honestly i would have took a new unit because the carpet was dirty when i moved in too it was and i said that in my movement vlog but they came and deep cleaning the garbage which i deeply appreciate because it looks way better but still like anyways so finally he tells me he's like oh can you just send me some pictures like of the tub so i can see what you're talking about and blah 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 and i was like bro like what like y'all i just didn't understand because i felt like he thought that i was lying or something so that's why i have those pictures of the tub because he asked me to send them to him so i sent them over to him he was like oh my gosh like we apologize we reached out to the contractor um we'll let you know we'll keep you updated on when they're coming right i was like okay yeah like whatever so i think it was like the weekend goes by or whatever i didn't bother him over the weekend i didn't want to be bothered with anything during the weekend quite frankly so monday comes i'm like hey like is there an update about the tub like are, are, when are we gonna resurface just so like i could know because i know we will have to move everything out of the tub take the shower curtain down and everything right he's like oh no update but we'll we'll let you know like when we find out right y'all <laughs> y'all Y'all, <laughs> I'm ready to move out. So the day that Ty and I got Wi-Fi, okay? And this was in my moving vlog. Y'all can probably tell that I was a little aggravated. Like I was aggravated to the point where I was like kiki and ha-ha and type aggravated was bad. So this was the day that the Wi-Fi person was supposed to come. Now, there's a few things wrong with this day. Everything just started going sideways this day. So the Wi-Fi people were supposed to come between 11 to 1. They ended up coming like super early, like at like 9.30. So I had to scramble to get out of bed, get dressed and everything. So I was fixing myself breakfast. I hear a knock on the door. I'm thinking, so I five people. I'm like, okay, cool. I look through the people. Don't look like anybody from, from at and I ain't gonna cap. I was looking like, did at and like change their uniforms? Like what's happening? So why did I open the door? I don't really know. So I opened the door and the guy's like, yeah, I'm here to fix your tub. like you are i'm sorry what <laughs> he was like yeah i'm here to fix the tub like what's what's wrong with it i was like it just needs to be resurfaced i was like they didn't tell you that like he was like no i was like well they didn't tell me you were coming he was like they didn't tell you that i was coming i was like no i was like so i have to go take everything out the tub real quick if you don't mind he was like yeah please so i'm taking everything out and taking everything down and at this point i'm very aggravated because it's like dang y'all could have at least let me know that the guy to do the tub was coming today because i was very unprepared i was just expecting the at person to come so i'm sitting in the living room i'm trying to eat my breakfast or whatever and the guy who's about to do the tub he comes up to me and he's like yeah um so the, the fumes from the paint's gonna be like really really strong he was like so i don't know if you wanted to leave and come back i was like i can't leave I was like, the at and person is supposed to come today. And he was like, oh. He was like, well, you know, if you start feeling faint or anything, just stand out on the balcony or step outside. I was like, it's fine. I'll just turn on the air. I turned on all the fans. I opened the doors so that way, like, it was, like, airing out so I didn't, like, pass out while I was in my own apartment. And he was like, yeah, I, I just wanted to let you know that. I was like, okay, thanks. So right after that, the at and person comes. And, like, they're going in and out trying to get the Wi-Fi set up. So that's fine. So at this point, I'm upset because I'm just like, why didn't anybody notify me that this guy was coming to resurface the tub? Like, that's important. I should have known. Like, what if nobody was here? Like, what? I call the leasing office and nobody answers. I call again. Nobody answers. I call again. Somebody answers. It's not Lysol. It's another person in the office. And I was like hi yeah i'm calling because my tub was supposed to get resurfaced and nobody called to tell me that it was getting resurfaced today so a guy just showed up today and blah 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 and i was going on and on and on y'all want to know what the guy did y'all want to know what he did he's he's still going okay 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 who 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 are you talking to because y'all when i tell y'all i was like i know this man did not just cut me off mid sentence i was about to get real disrespectful on the phone y'all when i tell y'all i was about to get real disrespect it was about to get bad and then he was like okay 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 i'm sorry you know that's my fault like we found out yesterday when they were coming and i thought somebody had told you lysol was off yesterday so he couldn't tell you and blah 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 blah, blah. i was like okay but i just didn't appreciate how nobody came and told me and he was like yeah you know we apologize actually we're, we're working on like reworking your lease right now and blah 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 because you're getting charged for wood floors because they lysol had said my apartment has wood floors but my 
a majority of it is carpet not wood and so i was getting charged for that like an extra 60 dollars and i was like what so he was like yeah you know we're working on reworking your lease so that way we can take that off and blah blah, blah. and i was like you know that calmed me down a little bit i was like okay so that means my rent gonna be a little bit lower okay but still i don't appreciate how you was coming at me sir like who do you think you're talking to over here getting rude like what is wrong with you like don't try me because i look they know that i'm a small female but because they see me go in and out of leasing office so many times but i will get rowdy i will and you're not about to play with my money so don't don't do that don't do that anyways moving forward i'm sitting in here and i'm doing my hair while the guy's working on the tub and everything and he comes he goes out and he comes back in and i asked him i was like um no 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 no. my other leasing agent had called me back the lysol guy he called me back so i was like hello and he was like hey like you know we had a missed call from this number i was like oh yeah i was calling because i was upset that nobody told me that the guy was coming today to resurface the tub and he was like oh yeah i'm sorry about that you know i was off yesterday so i didn't know but um and he was about to go on and on and some spill because he honestly lysol talks a lot he he know how to talk and i was like it's fine like another person like already handled it and talked to me about it it's, it's okay i was like i just hope i can use my tub tonight lysol proceeds to say no you shouldn't be able to use it for a whole 24 hours i was like what do you mean he was like you shouldn't be able to use the tub for a whole 24 hours i was like okay well what am i like what am i supposed to do and he was like well actually ask the guy and be sure because i'm not sure but we're still working on your lease so just give me a call back once you hear what the guy says so the guy comes back and i'm like hey like i know you're resurfacing the tub but like how long can i not use the tub he's like two days excuse me two 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 days y'all when i tell you i was livid I mean, the fumes was burning inside me. Y'all, it's flames. Flames. I was like, hello. Hey, Lysol. Yeah, he said I can't use the tub for two days. Oh, well, that doesn't sound right. Oh, so now you resurface tubs, too. So you at least an agent and you resurface tubs on the side. So you you would know. You would know. I was like, so I'm going to get compensated for this because I can't use my tub for two days. And he was like, um well he was like technically since you moved in and the request was made after you moved it bro he he was about to go on y'all he was about to go on and when i tell y'all that switch was about to flip and i was about to start cussing that man out because what do you mean since the request was made after i moved in the tub should have been resurfaced before i even moved in bro like i honestly shouldn't even be here unless the tub is moved like resurfaced and he was the one who was so anxious to have me move in on a certain day i tried to move in later so so he he was like since the request was made after, and I was about to be like, um, excuse, as soon, as soon, I swear, as soon as the words was like on the tip of my lips, on the tip of my lips, he was like, actually, let me call you back. I'm going to talk to so-and-so and see what we could do. Yeah, yeah, you need to do that because it ain't my fault that y'all forgot to resurface the tub. It ain't my fault that this is an inconvenience in my life. Luckily, my lease was not up at my other place, so I was able to like, take my shower curtain and stuff over there and I, me and Ty just had to go shower over there which was honestly pissed me off but anyways so after that whole fiasco they ended up blowing my rent for me um which I guess it really wasn't by a lot and it's still not really worth it because the washer and dryer sucked I literally spent nine dollars doing laundry the other day like if I ain't got no washer and dryer and it's not by choice wait correction if I don't have a washer and dryer and I don't have a microwave I shouldn't need I shouldn't have to be paying for to use the laundry like something's gotta get something's gotta get in conclusion ty and i feel like we got scammed <laughs> we're ready to move out um yeah i would not recommend this place to anybody obviously i can't tell you guys where it's at because i don't want you guys knowing where i live i can't tell you my address but just know when you are looking for an apartment just make sure you guys like really pay attention to certain stuff and you ask all the questions all the questions because i really i'm personally i don't think it's on me and ty about the whole microwave situation because he really should have mentioned that he didn't mention it like that's kind of something that you would expect to come with an apartment like it's 2021 what do you mean it doesn't have a microwave like what so i mean that's not really on us and we knew about the washer and dryers but we didn't know that we had to pay for them but we should ask but it was just a lot of stuff that is just very 
sketchy um a lot of people keep telling us that we got scammed i'm aware i don't want to hear it anymore i already know y'all it's bad okay it's ghetto over here it is in conclusion like i said if you're moving and you're young Make sure you ask all the right questions. Don't let these people take advantage of you. And yeah, have a lawyer ready just in case. That's pretty much it for this story time. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, which is always in the description box down below. Um, I'm going to try to do some Halloween content for you guys. I don't really know how that's going to work out. I got like, what, two, three weeks left in October. So we're going to see. We're we going to see. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a little, a little something for y'all. A little something spooky. A little something spooky. With all that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I want a chick that grind on a nine to five. Hoshi and them college books trying to get a rise. But tonight, I'm just trying to have a good time.